I just found a really great project management tool that is AI centric. Introducing Dart, the ultimate AI project management tool where it will save you hours per week in project management overhead. I know this is a PM tool, however, it's also a great tool that can help you automate various workflows with the help of AI. And this is where it will increase productivity and save time. You have the ability to automatically assign and prioritize tasks based on the project timelines as well as the availability, which is going to help you streamline the process of assigning different types of tasks automatically with the help of AI. You can create subtasks where you can basically generate various other tasks within a larger task group. You have the ability to plan a project and organize tasks with the help of AI. If there is a duplicate, you can use the duplicate detection feature, which will get rid of these duplicates and it is going to help you get rid of the clutter in your flows. Now, these are just few features that are covered. There's many more where you can automate workflows. You have the ability to integrate AI for AI task execution. You have the ability to have it so that it can plan certain things and so much more. You have the ability to set up workflows where you can get different sorts of views and layouts, as well as having it so that you can integrate all these other third-party integrations within your workspace. And this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Dart. So before we even get to that, I want you guys to take a look at a video which was created by the developers. And he basically goes over a couple of brief examples as to what you can do with Dart. Dart is a project management tool with some helpful verticalized AI features. And to begin with, we'll write a task to improve the user onboarding flow. And I'll go ahead and paste in a description that I've already drafted. As you can see here, it's already pretty long, so we're gonna try and break this up into some subtasks uh, by clicking this AI subtask generation button. And it will do that for us, give us some recommendations there. And let's go ahead and roll with them. The next thing that we'll do is switch on over to the roadmap, and here we can actually start to plan out the tasks um, that the team will work on. So I'll click this project AI button up here and plan this project and I'll click start planning and it's going to go ahead and start plotting this out for us and it's assigned them to some relevant people for each one. So next let's go on over to the board view and let's start working on some of these. So research an and analysis of current onboarding process. Let's go ahead and mark that as complete. Uh, let's mark another one as complete and let's get this one to end review and this one as doing. So now the team has actually made some progress on a lot of these tasks, and we'd like to generate a report to talk about that progress, maybe share it with our users. So to do that, I'll go on up here to the spaces section next to team, click on that, and then click new changelog report. And we're going to go ahead and generate a changelog report based on what we've done. And if I want, I can continue to edit this document, um, such as with some AI document editing features like simplifying the doc. I can then copy paste this uh, wherever I want. The last thing I'll show is duplicate task detection. So if I go back to the board view, you'll see this task here for improve the GitHub integration. And I can go ahead and create a new task to, um, let's say, make GitHub integration better. Let's say I'm another member of the team and I'm, I'm just not aware of that first task or um, I've forgotten about it, it's in the backlog somewhere. And as you can see, Dart's actually flagged a potential duplicate task down here. I can click on this error message and it will let me know um, the task that uh, it believes this might be a duplicate to. So, so let's get started. To use Dart, you can actually install this locally on your devices. For example, you can install it for Mac, you can install it for Android, as well as for iOS, as well as for Windows. This is something that you can easily download onto your device and try it out right away. But say if you're going to be utilizing the cloud version, you can then simply just click on the sign up button, create an account with your email or your Google account. And from there, you'll be then sent over to this dashboard. And this is where you're going to be able to manage different projects. So this is your dashboard within Dart, where you're going to be able to manage all your projects. You can manage different spaces. You can manage the ability to create new tasks within a project, as well as having the chance to take a look at the settings, as well as a lot of different resources. Now, before you start any sort of project, it is critical to brainstorm to figure out new approaches and ideas to tackle your project. And this is where I'm going to be demonstrating the project AI brainstorming feature within Dart. This is a way to utilize AI to automate the brainstorming process of our project. So what we're going to be doing is heading over to the spaces tab. We're going to create our workspace, which we have already done. We're going to click on this plus sign over here in the general tab. 
we're going to create a new dartboard and this is where we're going to create a new dartboard in our project teams workspace and for this example i'm going to name it notifications project and you can see it changes the emoji based off of the title that i gave it now that we have created our dartboard we're going to click on the project ai feature and this is basically the three steps that you would utilize in any sort of project management task where you're managing this project you would need to start off by brainstorming you need to plan the project and then generate a report so what we're going to be doing is starting off with the brainstorming aspect so i went along and i gave it a subject where our SaaS app has relied on email notifications for a long time and we want to start making those notifications in app so you can utilize the ai where you can set a timer and have it collaborate with teammates as well as ai to brainstorm you can just assign it specifically for teammates only you can set a time limit you can change it to a custom time limit in this case we're going to just give it to ai give it a five minute time limit and we're going to click on start brainstorming and it's going to start brainstorming ideas on fixing this and the cool thing is that the ai is going to continuously keep on working on creating substacks you can see that we have a timer on the top right where it's going to use utilize the 10 minutes to basically focus on the substacks and you can see that it's going to keep developing and focusing on what sort of tasks are needed to accomplish our overall query now say if one of these tasks require more subtasks to be assigned to different team members you can actually do this by clicking on a task that has been generated or brainstormed on you can then click on the task ai feature and then you can break it into substacks and this will auto generate different substacks that are required to basically fulfill this task over here now the cool thing is that you can even tell task ai to do the task or even improve the description of it so now that we have all these different ideas, what we're going to now do is go back to the project AI feature and we're going to plan this project. This is where it's going to create the properties where you're going to choose the properties that you would want the AI to focus on, such as start and end dates, orders, sizes, properties, assignees. You can even have it assign different dates, also different people in the team. So you can assign it to different group members. And in this case, we're just going to keep it so that it's going to focus on the properties and the signees and we're going to start planning so we're going to simply now start this and we're going to be able to have it work in the back end now once it has finished planning your project what you can do is you can head over to the roadmap and this is where you're going to get a good timeline as to when you should be able to finish these tasks and this was something that was generated by ai itself it'll tell you which dates that you should be able to have these tasks finished by and the AI is smart enough to set these deliverables based off of your team and depending on how quickly you're able to work. As a PM, you are basically geared to make sure that you will complete a task by a certain date. And this is why you have a priority filter, which is going to characterize certain tasks as high priority. And in this case, say if you do not have time to basically develop a description or subtask for this, you can auto generate this by double clicking on the task. You can generate a description by clicking on the task AI feature and you can break it down into subtasks or you can improve the description of it. So it will then break it into subtasks, brainstorm methods, or write a description. So within a couple of seconds, it's going to then write a description based off the task that we gave it. You can even describe it so that it's in a certain style. And then you can even have it broken into subtasks so different assignees within your team could be able to carry out those tasks. Now, the great thing with Dart is that it's going to be able to deploy AI agents to do your task. For example, in this case, you can introduce and categorize notifications for better user organizations. And we can basically assign this task to create a blog post that introduces characterized notifications. So what we'll do now is then have Task AI, which is a feature within Dart, automate this. So we're going to tell it to do this task. And within a couple of seconds, it's going to be able to help us create this blog post. So it states that I can help you with that. I'm writing a blog post on introducing this. So within a couple seconds, it's going to be able to generate this blog post. And once it finishes the task, you can see that the status has been completed and it has created the blog post, which is amazing, guys. This is something that was being developed within a couple of seconds within this task list. Now, a great way that you're going to be able to save time is have start automate your reports and this is where we're going to be taking a look at the generate a report feature once you click on the generate report feature you're going to be able to use the ai to create a report that summarizes updates in the space now this is where 
you can choose between two types of reports. You have stand up and change log. Starting off with change log, it reports only the completed tasks and that's about it. It won't show all the changes. And if you want it so that you can see all the changes for the basic project that you're working with, you can generate a report that shows more changes than just which tasks were completed. And this is where you would choose the stand up feature. And you can basically select the time frame to whatever date works for you and then you can generate a report for that specific time frame and then you can click on that button and you're going to be able to get an updated stand up change log as well as completed features now the great thing is that you have various other integrations such as notion slack discord github zapier as well as your email so think about it this way you're going to be able to automate your job as a project manager with all these integrations and it's going to save you so much more time with dart I want you to take a look at the Dart templates. These are templates that are designed to help you get started quickly. And it's going to provide pre-structured formats for various types of projects. Whether you're managing a small team or a large initiative, these templates are going to offer a solid foundation to streamline your workflow. You can choose between these different types of templates that fits your project needs and you can customize it if it's necessary. Now with these templates, you can save so much more time, maintain consistency, as well as boosting productivity from the start now i truly recommend that you take a look at the blog posts because these are different types of blogs that are going to give you more insights and tips as well as tricks as to what you can do with dart and that's roughly a brief overview on dart this is something that will help any project manager or basically anyone who is looking to automate various tasks or have it so that it could help you in managing your tasks so definitely take a look at dart this is something that you can get started completely for free and you can even install this on any device. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But I hope you got some sort of value out of today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.